So I've got my old blade, which is folded up. I don't know how long it is. I'm going to show you a way of measuring it out on the floor. So I open him up, I start off with. On the floor, I've marked a black line as the starting point. And also on my blade, I've marked a black line. If I line him up, basically I'm going to roll the blade out along the floor, just controlling a little bit with my feet so he doesn't slip when I'm doing it. I also have got a join actually in my floor here. I can see that's where my black line has come to. I just mark that on my bit of masking tape. I'll roll him back again just to make sure that it comes back pretty damn close to where my starting line was. And it's come absolutely spot on, so I'm confident that I've measured it twice and it's the same. Obviously, if it had slipped, I need to do the process again. I'll get this bandsaw blade up out of the way. So again, one way of folding it, hand flat at the top, don't grab the blade, just keep your hand level like a waiter, turn it towards your tummy button and away to your knee and it pops up into thirds. Getting snagged upon the gloves, but better than doing that than getting snagged upon your hand. Put the blade out of the way. I take my tape measure, roll him out on the floor. I get him somewhere near. Get him so he comes past the black line. Drag the start of the tape measure back to my line there. Make a note of your length, whether it's in inches or millimetres. And now we know the length of that blade, so we can specify that to our supplier. If that blade has come off the old bandsaw and we know it works and it tensions, we are confident that's the right length blade and that's the way to go about doing it.